This is my iPhone SE and it has a problem where it's rebooting every few minutes. And when I check the battery health using a battery app like uh, Battery Life, it shows that only 100 milliamp hours is left on the phone. I've also used coconut battery and it shows me similar wear. The coconut battery app on uh, uh, any type of a uh, Mac device computer so I'm just waiting for this thing to load but once it loads I can show you the battery status so I took the phone to Apple in the morning it came in like 15 minutes before it opened and here we go. So I'll go over to, you can see the battery over here shows red, which isn't good. Let me install the battery help app. So here you can see the battery wear level is at 94%. I go over here to raw data, it shows this much capacity, 100 out of 1624. Similarly, on my iPhone stats over here, I get this data. So, the bad thing is when it's plugged in charging, it'll still restart. And so that's the first part of my story. The battery shows very badly. So I just reboot right now. That was after a few minutes. Um, so what happened when I took it to the Apple store? I went in 15 minutes early, uh, signed up for an Apple Genius appointment. I was put on wait list. They let me in after 15 minutes of store opening and it took 30 minutes to, 30 minutes for them to diagnose my phone. Uh, they first looked at some battery diagnostics, which there weren't any because I factory reset my phone. Uh, then the guy, the genius Michael or Mike, he decided to factory reset my phone. Uh, using uh, an uh, MacBook, uh, we waited for 15 minutes and finally it restarted and still had errors. Before that, I forgot he went on to the analytics and looked at some logs and said that uh, the logs showed that I was having errors. And so at first he thought it was a software problem, that's why he had a factory set using a computer. And then after factory setting, it was still resetting. And he looked at the logs and he just said it was a board problem. Uh, we never got to trying inspecting the battery or anything, so that's my next step that I'm gonna do myself since the Apple Store wasn't so ready to do that for me. Uh, again, I didn't mention this, but this phone's only a year and two months old, and so for it to have a board, board failure is kind of sad, and I guess they expect me to pay for a replacement, but uh, any phone shouldn't only last a year and two months, so I'm sus suspecting it's a battery issue. So the logs that the Apple Genius took me to was in settings. I'd go to privacy and go to scroll down to the very bottom and under analytics I can look at uh, analytics data and so I get this panic base panic full I don't know what it means but he's he was suggesting it's because of a bad logic board Panic full reset counter. So, and there, there's a factory reset. I mean, there's a reset going on right now. So, 
So my, I really think it's just a battery issue and I'm gonna try swapping it with another iPhone. Not this one, but I have an iPhone SE that I can swap batteries with. I went to Apple 10 minutes before it opened, got an appointment. Should be in there in 10 minutes. They say there's a 10 to 15 minute wait time. So we'll see. It's already been seven minutes. And your name is. It took them 30 minutes to say they think it's a logic board issue. Time for me to try a new battery and see if I can prove them wrong. 